Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial, I am going to show you a simple way to rewrite any quadratic as perfect square. Let's look at our very first example. We have this quadratic polynomial. So there's no equal sign. It is not equal to zero. So let's assume there's an equal sign and equal to zero. So what we did is we just manipulated this thing by just putting zero on the right hand side. This zero will be called dummy zero. I will show you what that means later. So now the next step what I want you to do is I want you to make sure only x variable must be on the left hand side. That means we must get rid of 13 from left hand side. So we subtracted 13 from both sides. This is gone. So we got x square minus 6x equals to minus 13. So the next step, I want you to just focus on this number, the coefficient of x, which is 6. Just disregard this negative sign. I'm going to put down 6. I want you to take the half of that one. So that means you're going to take the half of that one, means you divide it by 2. That's going to give you what? 3. And then finally, take the square of 3. So I want you to add this 3 square on the both side of these equal sign. So let's go ahead and do the next step. x square minus 6x plus, and then I'm going to put down negative 13 plus, and now I will be putting down this 3 square on both sides. Now look at this thing on the left hand side, x squared minus 6x plus 3 squared is a complete square of what? This is x and this is minus sign and over here what? 3. I want you to write down inside the parentheses x, this x and this minus sign and this just 3 square equal to negative 13 plus 3 squared is simply what? 9. So the next step, what we will be doing is, I want you to write down x minus 3 squared, negative 13 plus 9 equals to negative 4. Now what I want you to do is, I want you to move this negative 4 on this side. Whenever you move this negative number on the other side, this negative become positive 4. So that means, and the left 0 is, is should be on the right hand side. So I can write as x minus 3 square, this negative 4 simply become what? positive 4 when you move it to the left and then equals to what? So everything moved to left so that means 0 is on this side over here. So now look at this one over here. I want you to just focus on this one over here. So we have right now this equation over here and we have another equation at the very top over here. I want you to, if this is 1 and this is equation number 2, both have are equal to 0. If we compare the left hand side, we can write from these both equations, we can write as from I can write this thing from equations 1 and 2. I want you to write down the left hand side, which was what? x square, look at this thing, x square minus 6x plus 13 minus 6x plus 13, the left hand side of this thing is going to be equal to x minus 
3 square plus 4. And that is our perfect square for this given polynomial. So that is our answer. Thanks for watching.